All right, here we go. Hey guys, it's Jeff from San Diego Seed Company and welcome back to the channel and welcome to August, one of the hottest months of the year. Today we're gonna talk about what you can do in the garden, what you need to be planting, what you need to be looking forward to. In my opinion, August is one of the most fun months of the year because not only are you harvesting, but you, you're getting ready to change and go over to the cool season. So we're gonna talk about all that. Doesn't matter if you're a new gardener or experienced gardener, I promise you're gonna learn something. But before we get into all that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified anytime we put out new content. So let's go in the garden and learn something. Okay, so the month of August. Quick reminder, there's cool season, warm season, Season. August is the very last month of the warm season in zone 9 and 10. So if you notice our board from last video, July, it's not that month anymore, it's August. So I wrote this beautiful August there. The reason I chose not to rewrite the board is because it's very similar. We've still got our two sections. Um, starts, just a reminder, that means you have either bought plants at a big box store or a nursery, or you've started them from seed inside or in your greenhouse or actually anywhere outside uh, and gotten them up to a size where they're going to survive out in the garden and you're going to transplant them. You could also call these transplants. Direct sow is where you take the seed. Let's imagine, man, that'd be a big fun seed, wouldn't it? You're gonna take your seed and put it directly in the ground out in the garden, right where it's gonna grow and live out the rest of its life. So let's start with starts. Not everything on here is gonna be planted in August. Any, any guesses? I'm gonna mark off two of them. What is it gonna be? Eggplant? No, that's good. How about peppers? and tomatillo is fine, and then basil. The reason I marked off peppers is they take so long to grow. Now, the weather is hot, the days are still long, but the amount of hours are going. Got it. Now that we're past the summer solstice, every day until the winter solstice on December 21st is gonna get shorter, less daylight hours. Peppers, if you were to even put a transplant out in August, you're not gonna have enough time to let it, the plant mature with the amount of daylight hours, and then the heat is gonna start to go away and peppers like heat. So no peppers in August and no basil in August because it's just gonna bolt immediately. It's way too hot. Without an established plant, you're gonna get flowers right away and that's not what you want, you want leaves. So if your planting starts in August, your options are eggplant, tomato, tomatillo, and another one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, I'm gonna write, Okra right there. We, we haven't had this on the board because it's not a really popular plant. Okra loves heat. Actually, I did say August was the last month of the warm season. If you're growing okra, you can even start that in September. Okay, so before we go on to direct sow, I wanna mention what I was talking about with basil. This basil has been in since the spring and now that it's getting warmer, the plant is just old and mature and it's like, we better save our butts by putting out seed. The way they do that is making flowers. So if we look here, these are uh, actually the white flowers that have opened up. If you want to make your harvest season longer for basil, you could simply come through here and pick off each flower. If you look, even the next set of stems right here, they've already got a flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way down here, pull it off right there, and let this next crotch below send out more shoots. It's the end of the season, so that probably won't happen, but what it will do is it will stop the plant from being so bitter. Once the plant has started to put out flowers, it also makes itself bitter, so it doesn't get eaten by pests, because like we said, it wants to put out seed, but we don't want the seed, we don't want the flowers, we want the leaves. Okay, now we're at direct zone. These are gonna be bigger seeds, things that you can plant directly in the ground. You won't have to deal with uh, transplant shock, which you would with these, and they're just gonna grow really nicely this time of year. But, as with the starts, there are a few that we can't do in August. One of those is, you can see it in front of me, corn. Corn uh, just takes too long, the days are getting shorter, it's not gonna have enough time to really develop those ears because if I planted it now, you've got 55, 60 days. It's just gonna to be too cold, not enough light. But what you can do are beans, cucumbers, and squash. 
I'm also going to mark off melons and pumpkins for the same reason of corn. They just take too long to grow, too long to develop. And if you think about it, the last thing that happens before you harvest something is it ripens. The sugar gets in the melons and the cantaloupe, things get sweet. That point in the growth of the plant, it's when it needs the most energy and the most sunlight. And if you were to direct sow those crops this time of year, you're looking at October, maybe even November, before you're starting to ripen up, you're not gonna have nearly enough light to do it. So, beans, cukes, squash, and as always, don't forget flowers. In San Diego, you can plant flowers all throughout the year. This month may not be your best bet, um, I, what I would do is wait until you get into the cool season flowers and if you don't know the difference between cool season and warm season flowers We've got all kinds of flower videos that you can check out and teach yourself Okay, before we say goodbye, I want to show you a couple things in the garden. We talked about melons taking a long time to grow This is our crimson sweet watermelon. Look at the size of this puppy. This plant went in the ground in the spring and if you've ever grown watermelons it's one of the most frustrating things because it just sits there for so long and so long. They really do like heat but once it starts to heat up the plant just explodes and gives us big boys just like this. We also have a few other on the vine. This one's a little easier. I can kind of pick it up. So I'm actually going to use this even though this is nowhere near being ready. When should you pick this? It's August. This looks big, but it may not be ready. And I've checked this out. It's not. My favorite way to tell if a watermelon is ripe is you're going to take the stem that connects it to the rest of the vine. You're going to have a leaf. Um, you're going to have a secondary vine coming out here, but you're also going to have a tendril. When this starts to brown all the way down to the base, you can pretty much bet you're going to have a ripe watermelon. Him. No, it's a her. Is it him? Her. Uh, probably a her. Yeah, the he, he impregnated it, but it could be yeah. a boy or Oh her. yeah, it's got to be a her. It's got both. It's her ovary. Okay, so we've gone over what you can start, either from start or direct sow in August. Now I really want you guys to learn something. Even though it's possible to start eggplant, tomato, tomatillo, okra, beans, cukes, and squash. I want you to think about one thing, and this is really important, and that is space. We have the luxury in zone nine and 10 to be able to grow all year round, which means towards the end of this month, I'm gonna start planning out what I'm actually gonna start for a cool season. I know it's counterintuitive because August and September are some of the hottest months in San Diego and across the rest of the region. It's really the time that you have to start them to get them big enough to grow. So if I were going to plan out my garden and I wanted more cucumbers, I would have to ask myself, do I want more cucumbers late in the stage where they're not really meant to grow this late? They can, but it takes them longer, less daylight, or should I save that space for my peas? Peas are in the winter, you're gonna grow them, start, start them maybe inside in August or put them outside October, November-ish, and they really thrive in cool temperatures. So these are the types of questions that you wanna ask yourself. Same with squash. Squash is such a big plant. Do you really wanna dedicate that amount of space that you could be putting in spinach or kale or lettuces or all those cool season crops. Now, of course, I'm not telling you what to do. Everybody's different. Maybe you don't even grow cool season crops because you don't like them and you just stick to the summer or you just need a break over the winter. That's totally fine. If you're one of those people, go ahead. Plant away as late as you can. Okay, so last thing. I know we've talked about this on the channel before, but it's worth repeating, especially in August, and that is the fall effect. So what the fall effect means is as the days get shorter, things take longer to grow. It's really just a math problem. If you have six hours of sun versus 10 hours of sun, the crop that has six hours of sun is gonna grow that much slower because light is what they use to photosynthesize to be able to use the nutrients and create energy and all that stuff that a plant does. The reason I'm standing in front of the peppers is this is a great example of why maybe growing them in August isn't such a great idea because we planted this plant in May and it's still not ripe yet. If I were to plant it now, it's gonna grow even slower and we'll never have enough time in the season for them to ripen up. Okay, so that's what to plant in August. If you guys are at all interested in learning more about when to plant what and where and who, what, when, now, why, order the planting calendar. It's such a huge resource. Even if you were to order the 2023 one this month, it still will apply to next year. We do update it based on our catalog and new information that we come across, but definitely get out there 
get that calendar and get growing.